To make creating your sheet metal parts easier, SolidWorks Drawings has both bend tables as well as punch tables for any punched features that you have within a sheet metal part. Here we have three different kinds of punched features. And we can come into the Annotation tab and choose the Tables option and choose Punch Table. And if I click on this view, We'll have to choose a datum. So I'm going to choose that bottom line as the X and this side as the Y. And it's going to dimension based on those selections. OK, this didn't bring in any of that data. So I'm going to go ahead and try this again. Sometimes if you don't select the view, it'll come in as blank. So once again, I'm going to select the view go to punch table, choose this bottom edge and the side edge, and select the face. That's what I was missing. That's why the table came in blank. And click OK. And now you can see that that brings in the X and Y locations of each punched feature, the angle, as well as the quantity. In this case, we know that the angle is going to be orthogonal to the flat pattern. So we can go ahead and delete out the column. And for the quantity, we know that each one of these is going to be 1. So we could delete that out, or we can right-click and say combine the same type. And it still leaves that as 1 in the quantity, so we'll delete that out. You also have the option of combining the same tags. So in this case, if I zoom in, You'll notice these tags in letters by the punched features. And it'll display quantity as well. And if I assign a custom property of punch ID, it's also going to populate that. But I'll go ahead and let it expand the tags and combine the same type. And once again, delete out these two columns. And we can easily resize the table as well by dragging it from a corner. There's also an option for a bend table and that's going to greatly simplify this drawing view. It'll remove out all these notes. If I choose bend table and select the flat pattern. And we can also change the alphanumerical control. If we know that we've used letters for the punch IDs, we can change this to numbers to make it simpler to view. And now you can see that each one of those lines is labeled with a number and the center is labeled with the fixed face. So I can modify this table as well if I wanted. We could delete out any of the unnecessary columns as well. But that's how you add both a bend table as well as a punch table to a sheet metal drawing.